What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the last episode, we just started uh, the Chaos Fury for Jurassic Park 3. We did a, a lot of stuff in the span of 40 minutes. We, we took we took an Ankylosaurus, we took some Stegosaurus, and we've seen, we've wit oh no, we, we took a Ceratosaurus, forgot the Ceratosaurus, and we witnessed firsthand the power of raptors against the Spinosaurus. And it was awesome. It, although it is a bit sad to see the, the Spinosaurus from the movie just die like that. You know, but oh well. So now we are tasked to take this Triceratops. I don't know why specifically this individual Triceratops is and none of the other ones. But for some reason, Wu, Masrani, and Chaos Fairy Girl really wants this specific triceratops so we're just gonna get him yeah see where it goes from there oh yeah and it's like so far this one this this chaos fairy is awesome right i, I the, the other two were, were fine enough but those two were pretty much just build a five star park right those were the the scenarios you know but this one this one is interesting it's like a, a convoluted story behind this one it's it's fun yeah as fun as capturing dinosaurs putting them in the enclosure making them comfortable and selling them up taking them off the island can get but yeah anyways all right oh can i have a look at these paras is it just me nah no, nah, they're the same. It's the same model. I thought it was different. They looked different. Oh, hello! I see you! Some Carifasauruses! Hey! Oh man. Oh, we can explore a bit more. Any more Jurassic Park free Easter eggs? What's that? Some Brachiosauruses? Jurassic Park free Brachiosauruses specifically? Which I thought w looked nice enough. Oh, what's that? I see that. Is that the facility? I think that is. That's the facility Grant and Co. Uh, went to. It was like, this is how you play God. <gasps> oh! It's the aviary! I see you. Oh, uh, but is that pretty much just a twing twinkle of the keys in my face type thing? I'm never gonna get the, those pteranodons, aren't I? God damn it. When am I gonna get the pterosaurs? I know it's something that can happen, and I know it will happen eventually, but like, I want them. <laughs> I want to make a aviary already. I'm dying to get some kind of pterosaur. Ah, oh, damn you. It's all the way over there. Ah. Oh. I want pterosaurs. <laughs> oh, well. Surely the, the next one. Ah, uh, when we reach the campaign. Now, well, that's a certainty, actually. Once we reach the campaign, we're definitely going to be working with some pterosaurs. Yeah. And I can uh, finally, you know, it'll be cool. Now I get to talk about pterosaurs. Something that's not dinosaurs for once. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I like dinosaurs. The vast majority of my paleontology knowledge is based on dinosaurs. But I want to talk about other stuff as well. I want to talk about the flying reptiles and marine reptiles. Maybe even the synapsids and phrapsids that came before the dinosaurs. And uh, maybe even the, the megafaunal animals that... Uh, happened after the dinosaurs, but still before humans, you know, like mammoths and stuff. You know, I, I, I consider myself a vertebrate, pa uh, a vertebrate paleontology expert. I can tell you a lot of stuff about the majority about of vertebrates, which are animals with um, spines, vertebrates. Uh, instead of the, the, the opposition, which is the arthropods, which are bugs. And a whole lot of 
other complex animals that aren't iron. Oh, that was fast. Okay, so we we send him here just to tranquilize him and send him off anyway. What was the point of me sending him in here then? Who's next? Which dinosaur? It's gonna be Brachiosaurus, I bet you. Asset in transit. Or if he wants to stick with the movie cannon, Corifosaurus. I don't expect results. I demand them. I realize we are dealing with time measured in tens of millions of years. But that is for the dinosaurs, not us. We move quickly. Our time, my friends, oh, is boy. limited. Let's get motivated. Um, okay. I'm gonna need to make a bigger enclosure then. Alright. So I guess we're getting three different species. Pa Brachiosaurus, Parasol Office, and Gallimimus. Okay. I knew it would be Brachiosaurus. <laughs> I somehow called it. Okay, how, how do I do this? Okay. This looks good. Just a little bit bigger than the original. Alright, and while that's doing its thing, I guess we'll send a capture team to capture the dinosaurs it wants us to get. So what is it what? Uh, not the Mementosaurus, apparently. God forbid we get Mementosaurus. Ooh. Okay, Parasaurolophus. Insufficient fuel. Of course it is. Some Gallimimus. Which are sleeping in a little flock, that's cute. Oh, look at that. It's kind of looking at like a African watering hole. It's pretty cool. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay. Asset being transported. That's it. Asset okay. Now we just need Brachiosauruses, which are all the way over here. How many do we need? Just three. Ah, perfect. Delivery has been completed. Oh, Gallimimus. Classic dinosaur. They're flocking this way. <laughs> Those I don't know, actually, I'll talk about Gallimimus. Well, it's only a quick fact. Gallimimus was actually found in Mongolia. Uh, was it in the Flaming Cliffs? I don't know if it was in the Flaming Cliffs or not. But it lived in Mongolia, which means that it lived with Velociraptor. So yeah, canonically, these guys actually would have encountered Velociraptors and very much probably would have had to, you know, not be hunted by Velociraptor. Of course, they have speed on their side, so they can easily uh, run away from the Velociraptor if they see it. That's if they see it. <laughs> like you gotta actually realize 
when it comes to the Raptors, a lot of their behavior in actuality relies on ambush. Like if you look at the tail, the tail is actually a lot more shorter than people tend to actually realize, right? So Raptors, instead of, um, you know, being these chase down uh, predators that they're Heavy commonly uh, sh depicted as, they're actually more like, you know, wait in the bush, wait for the right moment and then strike type dinosaur. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, Brachiosauruses. The ones with the red heads. <laughs> Missing ground nuts. You want ground nuts, huh? Let's get you some ground nuts then. Asset has been collected. And what about the galleys? Missing ground leaf. Oh boy, so they contradict with... This could be tough. Alright. Alright. And I know for a fact the Brachiosauruses are going to want a lot of forest, so... You know what? I'm just gonna do that right now. Here's a buttload of forests. Did I get all three of them? Yes, I did. Okay. Transportation. Have a good look at them. Hello. I always did like this skin, you know, the, the green stripes with the red head. A little smoothed out, you know. I mean, they did, it's weird. They had the odd choice of having that unsettling close-up shot with the Brachiosaurus just going like, <laughs> to, to Grant and co. But like, but coloration wise. It's a beautiful skin, you know, I, 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 I always love. I just wish that the green was a little bit more obvious. I remember in the movie, the green was a lot more brighter than this. And this is more brown than green. But still very nice skin with the red tips and stuff. Oh, you could maybe even pretend that it's a, it's a male, you know. Sexual dimorphism, showing off those bright colors on the crest. Trying to attract the females. <laughs> this is an across the board objective. Every dinosaur, every species, we want to increase their comfort rating. In fact, we're the only ones that should feel any discomfort. Well, truth be told, you, actually. Okay, missing forest and tall nuts. As expected. Oh boy, alright. Uh, oh, it's just a just a little bit and done. Now, tall knots. Maybe we could just do something like this. Like this is it. We're we're we're. This is the problem. We're we're having a three different dinosaurs share an enclosure with each other, and they all eat different things. And if I do this, they're just the food supply is going to be disappearing, and. Like if I if I get enough, it'll, sure, it'll eventually satisfy the the brachiosauruses. But then there's gonna be like a point where like the the bloody powers are gonna go like, oh, we don't have our fruits anymore. Ah. Like, oh, but it requires them to be at least eighty percent, which is good. So, boom, done. We're moving all the animals to our holding facility. Oh my God. This will be a huge undertaking. So I'm expecting... Let me get a, a screenshot Nothing less than your best. And you're going to give it to me. 
I own you. No worries, Bane. I'll do that. What's a what's a what's a good uh, where's the other one? Ooh, actually I got a neat idea. The tree's in the way, damn it, that could have been a nice shot. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Boom, screenshot, thumbnail, right there. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Tranquilize literally everyone. That's a lot of dinosaurs you want me to do there, Masrani. Some of them are hiding underneath trees as well, so I'm not gonna know where the hell they are. Asset in transit. <laughs> if we hide in this corner, they won't know we're here, brother. One of them's literally in the bloody forest. Okay, that's all of them. Now what, Masrani? Capturing raptors? Bet you that's it. Asset being transported. Transportation. Oh, no, that's that's it. Huh. Right. That was that was fast. <laughs> that was not free star rate that was not a free star difficulty rating. That was one. That was no difficulty at all. We literally just used the same enclosure over and over again. A sight to behold, Dr. Wu. When I left Isla Nublar last time, I never thought I'd return. And certainly never thought I'd rebuild Jurassic Park. Oh, but you haven't. You've helped me create something even better. Bigger, more ambitious, and more financially viable. Dinosaurs for the masses. Anyone can create a park, but it takes genius to create a world. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done now? That's it. You don't even stick around. You just... It kicks you off the... <laughs> okay, well I guess we're done with that. Good thing I took the screenshot of the Brachiosaurus. Whew. All right, I guess we have no choice, but how much? That was 23 minutes worth of recording. This will be a short episode. <laughs> but if you, well, short in terms of Jurassic Park standards. Okay, I guess we'll continue to the chaos. Uh, not the chaos, um, we'll continue to the bloody campaign then. If you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you have a super super time. Bye bye.